with over 12 years experience of building and creating top quality motors, Martel Performance Motors specializes in custom bikes, trikes, cars, and trucks for both adults and children. They have a rideable track and a sim full of cuddle areas and a hidden romantic dance area. They also host concerts and events monthly. For more information, please contact Jim Martell or Morgana Bloodrose. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Over to the Recap, Episode 7. I am the voice, Mr. Flex, and she is... Fire Ember! And we are here to bring you an amazing show. But before we go into what the show is about, we would like to give a special shout out to Martel Performance Motors. With a wide variety of bikes and more, so make sure you check them out, man! Because they rack. All right. So, Overtune is an inside look at your favorite wrestling superstars. What motivates them? Where did they come from? What does the future hold? Well, that's what we're here to talk about. And we got two amazing guests for you today. So, without further ado, let's get this party started, shall we? Our first guest, Cherokee, seems to be flying through the ranks since he was drafted to Attitude. But before we get into that and ask him out here we are going to go ahead and show you some highlights so go ahead and roll that footage he stands at six foot eleven weighing in 310 pounds from cherokee north carolina he is the cherokee outlaw well i tell you what i don't think you're going to take me down and I, I'll even give you the damn first shot. How about that? LBA say boring. Oh, and LBA go with those combos. Oh, man. Oh, gonna have to crack the whip. Oh, and here we go with the chops. Oh. oh. Oh, those chops. Ow. Uh, I hate these things, man. I chop you. These guys are giving it their all. Oh, oh, man. Now they're just brawling it out in the middle of the ring. I think oh, LBA damn. actually listened. I was got him in a bear hug. Cherokee oh. Won the match by knockout. Your winners, everyone, is the Cherokee Outlaw. Wow. I mean, as we all know, LBA is not an easy target to take down and pin, but Cherokee just did it almost, I don't know, effortlessly. He he came out, he knew what he wanted, and he went for it. He did not back down. Absolutely. And what an amazing, amazing feat that Cherokee has pulled off. I mean, LBA, that's yeah. huge. The fact that he overcame LBA. That's impressive. Yeah, he's so one of the what? toughest toughest competitors right now in, in Attitude. He is, yeah. He's got a lot of momentum, and Cherokee, the outlaw, stopped him in his tracks. He sure did. So why don't we go ahead and bring out Cherokee so we could talk about some stuff. Does that sound good? I think it sounds good. I think that sounds like an amazing idea. Then let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please put your hands together and welcome Cherokee Outlaw! Welcome to the show, Cherokee. So good to see you, my brother. How you doing? Doing very good, man. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. So glad you could uh, be here with us today. And uh, we, we got some uh, some topics we want to go over with you, if that's okay. And that sounds good to me. Awesome. All right, well, let's get started. So, Cherokee, you are the son of a well-known chief of the Cherokee Nation. How did you get from being the next in line 
to winding up here in Premier Wrestling? Well, you know, as, as life goes, you know, you make mistakes, and I made some pretty bad ones. And in order to redeem myself and restore my honor to the tribe, the best way we could figure out for me to do it was to come to Premier and teach others about honor and respect. Oh, that makes sense. So you think that the more that you can achieve here in Premier Wesseling, that they won't notice this and you'll find redemption with your tribe. I mean, that's pretty honorable. I, I can get behind that. Right on. So this season, you were given a fresh opportunity when you were drafted to Attitude. And for the most part, you've won nearly all the matches you have been in. Do you feel you are accomplishing your goals so far? Oh, absolutely. You know, since I've been in Attitude, I've noticed a lot more chaos and BS going on. So somebody's got to put a stop to it somewhere. It's got to stop. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. It's it's crazy over there. Oof. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> more power to you. <laughs> it's pretty corrupt over there. I'm kind of glad that uh, I was sad at first when you got drafted, but I'm I'm glad you're over there now to uh, clean house, if you will. So that, that can be a good thing. So now that you're on Attitude, you have your sights set on the Undisputed Championship. If given the opportunity to obtain it and successfully able to get it, is there any other future plans for the outlaw himself, Cherokee? Yeah, I'll just keep working hard. And if I do obtain the championship, just keep working hard and be the best example that I can be for Premier Wrestling and the championship itself and for the fans. I think that's completely honorable. I can respect that. And uh, I mean, it's great. It's great that you're always so honorable. You know, you're, you're always wanting to show that honor in the ring, regardless of who you're facing. But at the same time, you're not just some pushover, whatever. You are going to bring the house down in every match. And that's awesome. So, Cherokee, do you have a special message for your fans out there? I do. I do. And just be respectful, be honorable, and live your best life. Whatever this third at you, just do the best you can to overcome. That's a Very really well good said. message. I agree. Very well said. Yeah. Thank you very much, Cherokee, for being here with us today. Yes, uh, thank you. you. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. No problem. And if you want to stick around, that's cool. Uh, We're going to go ahead and break for commercial. And when we come back, we are going to bring out Mr. Motor Nation, Hal Jackson. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. We'll see you when we come back. With over 12 years experience of building and creating top quality motors, Martell Performance Motors specializes in custom bikes, trikes, cars, and trucks for both adults and children. They have a rideable track and a sim full of cuddle areas and a hidden romantic dance area. They also host concerts and events monthly. For more information, please contact Jim Martell or Morgana Bloodrose. Welcome back to Overtude the Recap. Our next guest has high octane in his veins. Vroom vroom! That's right, Mr. Vroom Vroom, Mr. Motor Nation, Hal Jackson. But before we bring him out, we have some highlights we would like to take a look at. Go ahead and roll that beautiful footage. From Daytona, Florida, 6'1", 220 pounds, he is Mr. Motor Nation, Hal Jackson. Don't let him catch his bearings or any of his, you know, thoughts. Oh, look at that oh, snap suplex. Snap suplex. See, he's used <laughs> to having to oh, react fast. He just took oh, him to the oh, ground and he's pounding down. away. Nice. See, Hal is used to having to react very quickly. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So. Here comes Hal with some punches. Punches. Knocking Chris into the corner. Do that and then run over and get your tag. Danny's in the other corner. Oh, but he ain't done. He just oh, hits an explosive was... drop kick right to SMF's head. Or, I'm sorry, Chris's head.
Wow! What an amazing match that we got to see. I mean, Mr. Motor Nation, how Jackson was teamed up with the legend himself, Thunder! Danny Thunder. Wow. That was amazing. That and was you know an amazing match. It, it was. And you know what the best part about it was? How Jackson went up to SMF and was like, you just got knocked it out. It was great. It was pretty great. <laughs> so excited every time SMF gets his ass handed to him. Yeah, the leader of the Windbag Guild, the Windbag Guild of Cowards. Mm -hmm. All right, without <laughs> further ado, <laughs> let us welcome our next guest. He is Mr. Motor Nation, Hal Jackson. All right, all right, Mr. Motor Nation, Hal Jackson, how you doing? Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. No problem. So glad you could make it. So, Mr. Hal, you, my friend, have been dominating the Formula One circuit, being the front runner, and have everything going for you. How in the world did you go from racing to premier wrestling? Well, while I was up in Zandvoort in the Netherlands, I was went to a local fed where I saw wrestling legend Broly Blackheart wrestling. And so I had gotten talking to him, and I asked if it was actually any harder than racing. And he said it was a lot of work. So I expressed my interest. He introduced me to a few people, and I started training. Eventually, last year, I had made my debuts in an indie securing a World Heavyweight Championship down there. I had chosen not to renew my contract, and I went back to Formula One for a few months. And not, when I got introduced to Premier Wrestling, I decided to sign. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. Well, we're so, so lucky that you did. Yeah, and then you were trained by Broly? That's cool. I didn't know you guys were friends. That's right on. That's that's pretty cool. So, how? Now, you are fresh blood on overload. You have a lot of weight on your shoulders, but you seem to be making a name for yourself. So, tell me. Tell the world. Who is Mr. Motor Nation Hal Jackson? And what is your message? Well, my message is it doesn't matter what background you come from. You can play football. You can ice skate, play tennis. You can come from boxing. As long as you put the work in, and working in professional wrestling, you can accomplish anything. Okay. Well, definitely playing tennis while on ice skate sounds like a lot of fun. I think we should try that. What do you think, Fire? That sounds fun, right? Hey, I'm down. Uh, are you down for that, Hal? You want to go do some ice skating tennis? I've tried ice skating, and I've fallen plenty of times. <laughs> <laughs> you get knocked down, but you get up again. Ain't never going to keep you down, right? right. Yes. <laughs> well, <clears throat> so now that you're here, people are starting to notice you. So what are your future plans, your goals for Premier Wrestling? Well, since I've won a world, champ the world heavyweight championship in my career once before, I think I can do it again. I mean, you've got SMF, who basically LG laid down for to capture the World Heavyweight Championship, which is most the 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 most disrespectful thing to it's such a prestigious title that I have seen. Such a cowardly move, too. God, yes, I agree. So during the tag match, he ran his mouth, and I cleaned his clock. <laughs> it's about time somebody cleaned that clock. It was pretty dirty, wasn't it? So I believe I would make a better <laughs> champion than he would. Ho, ho, ho. Oh. Them's his fighting words, and I'm 100%. Here, 
You heard it here first in Overtune. Hey, the, fu the future's unwritten. Anything can happen. That's right. Mr. Hal Jackson has got his eyes set on the World Heavyweight Championship. Nice. Nice, nice. All right. <clears throat> Before we get too far off on a tangent, and, and I don't want to keep the whole premise on SMF, as lame as he is. So, Mr. Howe, what would you like to say to the fans? Well, if you believe you can do it, and you believe you, you can accomplish it, then by all means, you should chase your dreams. Well said. That's amazing message to all your fans out there. Definitely always go for your dreams. That's right. And when given the chance, beat a ball and throw yourself. Unless you can be a unicorn, then be that. There you go. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> time to get cereal now. Thank you very much, Mr. Hal Jackson and my brother from another mother. We're talking about Cherokee Outlaw. Thank you both for being on the show today. We appreciate you. We're rooting for you guys. We can't wait to see what you do next. Yes, definitely. Keep on going out there and giving it your all, guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. Awesome. Awesome. Well, folks, we have come to the end of today's show. Well, we had two amazing guests here today. A challenge was issued. That, that was cool. And uh, we would definitely like to invite everyone to check out premier minus sign wrestling.com. You're watching this on YouTube. Make sure you hit that like button, smash that bell. So you can be up to date on everything that's happening with premier wrestling. You can check out the Twitter channel. You can check out our discord. There are many avenues to find out what is happening with premier wrestling. And also be sure to tune in for the season finale of attitude Monday at 1 p.m. And then the season finale of Overload on Thursday at 1 p.m. You do not want to miss these shows. I guarantee there is a huge shock factor. I am not going to give anything away because there's a surprise. So make sure that you tune in. Okay? Awesome. It's we'll going to be amazing. Absolutely. All right, I am the voice, Mr. Flex, and she is... I remember. And we'll see you next time right here on Overtude, the recap. Keep the party going! Bye! With over 12 years' experience of building and creating top-quality motors, Martell Performance Motors specializes in custom bikes, trikes, cars, and trucks for both adults and children. They have a rideable track and a sim full of cuddle areas and a hidden romantic dance area. They also host concerts and events monthly. For more information, please contact Jim Martell or Morgana Bloodrose. 